वेलकम बैक टू एजू फार्मा आई एम खलीफा मोहम्मद आसिफ फ्रॉम अली अलाना कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मेसी अक्कल हुआ टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट क्रिटिकल माइसेलर कंसंट्रेशन एंड इट्स डिटरमिनेशन फर्स्ट लेट्स सी व्हाट इज माइसेलाइजेशन अ माइसेल इज एन एग्रीगेट ऑफ सरफेक्टेंट मॉलिक्यूल्स डिस्पर्स इन कोलोइडल लिक्विड्स द प्रोसेस ऑफ फॉर्मिंग माइसेल इज नोन एज माइसेलाइजेशन Micelle formation in polar and non-polar solvent depends on the concentration of surfactant in a particular solvent. Let's understand how micelles are formed. In a micelle, hydrophobic tails flocks to interior to minimize the contact with water and hydrophilic heads remain outer surface to maximize their contact with water. Remember micelles are not static aggregate but they dissociate regroup and reassociate rapidly as you can see the equilibrium is established between dissociate monomers and a complete micelle if surfactant is added in a solvent at low concentration some monomers disperse in a solvent or absorb at the surface until all the surface or interface getting saturated by the surfactants further addition of surfactant increases the concentration of monomers and it goes in solvent and start to form a micelle and this concentration is called as critical micelle concentration we can simply define critical micellar concentration as the concentration of monomer at which micelles start to form in a solvent at a particular temperature further if we keep going addition above critical micellar concentration numbers of micelle increases you can see here at low concentration some surfactant monomers absorb on the surface and others are present at the interior once the surface gets saturated micelles start to form this is critical micellar concentration above it number of micelle is increasing let's come to the significance of critical micellar concentration before reaching critical micellar concentration the surface tension of liquid changes strongly with the concentration of surfactant after reaching critical micellar concentration the surface tension remains relatively constant or we can say changes with a lower slope and this is the basis of its determination by surface tension method other significance is micellar catalysis which is important in different areas such as pharmaceuticals oil recovery industry environmental as well as nanotechnological system micellar catalysis may not be understood without its critical micellar concentration now come to the determination of critical micellar concentration of any surfactant for that we will take an example of sodium lauryl sulfate and the critical micelle concentration of sodium lauryl sulfate can be determined by surface tension method that is by drop formation method to study how surface tension is determined by drop formation method please watch this video a link is given in the description to determine critical micellar concentration of sodium lauryl sulfate we have to determine surface tension of different compositions of sodium lauryl sulfate in water by using drop formation method in this way we can have an observation table we can use this data to plot a graph of different concentrations of surfactants versus their surface tension and the graph has to be plotted by taking concentration of x axis and surface tension on y axis we can observe a sharp break as surface tension is not going to change anymore indicating that 
my cell starts to form at this point of concentration. A line can be drawn on x-axis by taking a point where two lines are intersecting each other and in this way we can have the value of critical micellar concentration by this graph.